this is something most most people probably don't even bother with. But I've noticed with these mini lathes on the last three that I've played with that there's always the headstock is always off compared to the bed. In this case, it was about ten thousandths high out here, uh, ten inches away from the chuck, and it was about fifteen thousandths or so. Uh, this way towards the operator and uh, spent about an hour shimming it. You got to be careful when you shim these, you know, to make sure that you have contact on all four corners. So if you, you shim someplace here and you move this, you're going to end up having a gap over here. So you just have to be careful that you, you, uh, because there's only three adjustment screws that you have a positive contact with the bed uh, between the bed and the tailstock. Uh, this was, I want to say, probably about 10 thousandths worth of shims. This corner was about 5 thousandths. This rear corner was 4 thousandths. And then this corner here just has contact on the bed. Uh, and it's down tight and touching. And, uh, here, I'm deflecting the, that's really reefing pretty hard side to side on the thing. And as you can see, what do we got? At 10 inches out, and maybe a half a thousandths at best. It's up and down and side to side over a 10 inch span. I don't think that they ever came from the factory anywhere near that close. So... Uh, I think it's worthwhile doing. It's awful tedious, but worth it. I'll do a video in a bit on how I adjust the Gibbs on these. I don't see anything online that really gives a good explanation about how the Gibbs work. So that'll be coming up in a video uh, pretty soon. Thanks for watching.